Hi guys, welcome to Color with Donna. I am Donna and today begins, it's all about Jade Summer, a collaboration between, um, it was began by Anne from A Colorful Life and then there is myself, Nisi from Dollar Diva 99 and Tia's um, Coloring Chronicles, I believe, as well as um, Color Chats and Cats with Michelle. So, today I have Hidden Garden by Jade Summer, and I purchased this book just recently um, for this uh, color along, and I am myself fairly new to Jade Summer. Um, and her, well, the company's, um, the company's works. I, um, was not very, um, intrigued by a lot of the Jade Summer books, uh, in the beginning. And so I never really, um, purchased any, but, um... I had gotten the Christmas book, which I did enjoy um, over the, the Christmas season, and um, the Grayscale book that Anne and I did a collab in, and that was fun. And those were the only two Jade Summer books that I owned. Um, so when Anne asked me if I would like to participate in this collab. I was very excited and wanted to get some Jade Summer books so I could start to experience Jade Summer. Um, many of you seem to absolutely love the Jade Summer series of books and maybe this will give me an opportunity to really um, dive in and develop a love for them also. So I'm just coloring with my um, Stabilos, Stabilos <laughs> fine liners. I have the 68s and the 88s. Um, I do not believe I have, I have close to the entire set. I think I am missing just a few of those. But they are some of my favorite fine liners. I believe I like them a little better than um, my Staedtlers. I definitely do not have the full set of Staedtlers. Um, I'm not sure how many colors um, the Staedtlers have. I have 36. So... And then I have, I believe it is the Shuttle Art. I have the 100 count of fine liners. They're not all that great. Um, I wasn't very impressed with those. I don't use those very often. And I have a store brand of fine liners that came from Hobby Lobby. And, um,. Those are all the fine liners I have. I've heard that the Artezas are very nice. So I'm keeping an eye on those. And if they go on sale um, and I see it, I may purchase the 72 of the Artezas and Artezas and try those out. We shall see. I rely very heavily on um, Color Tube and all of the wonderful colorists on Color Tube to give me an idea of what products I want um, to try and to add to my uh, collections, whether it be coloring books or supplies. I always uh, Google, or not Google, I'll always do a search on YouTube for 
videos about any products that I might be interested in, um, whether I'm looking for flip-throughs of coloring books or if I am um, looking for product reviews or testing of products. I love when people do unboxings and first impression videos because I think those are very important. Um, it gives you a really good idea of how um, easy a product is to work with because you know once you've had a little bit of time to work with a product you kind of learn um, little tricks that make the product more effective and if you get that first impression then um, you can kind of see what it's like straight out of the box and I really like to watch those I read um, the reviews on like Amazon before I purchase a product, but I kind of take some of those with a grain of salt because I've noticed and I never pay attention to how many stars a product has um, because what I've noticed is some people will be very generous with their stars and give a five star rating. Um, and I don't believe really that there is very few products in this world that are five stars. Um, I'm sure there are a few, but you have, you know, extremely generous, um, reviews. And then, you know, when you read the actual review, you read about the, um, the little issues or whatever that should have probably made it a four star. But then I've noticed that you will have some reviewers who go to the totally opposite end of the spectrum on that. And they'll give a product a one star rating and say something um, that's just not really worthy uh, about the product that would give it a, a one star Writing. And I see that a lot sometimes with our coloring books. Um, you know, Jade Summer is on the uh, Create Space paper. And I've seen some um, reviews where people will give a one star and just say, oh, this is just horrible. Well, you know... Don't give a product a one-star rating and say it's horrible without telling me why it's horrible. You know, I kind of want to know that. It's important information. But my opinion on Create Space paper, I've noticed that all Create Space is not created equal. That is something that I have noticed. I do believe that Jade Summer books... Um, for instance, to me, seem to have paper that might be a little thicker than some of the other uh, Create Space books that I've seen. I have a Create Space Mandela book. I can't remember the name of it. But the paper is so, so, so thin that it's, you know, crazy thin. And... I would be afraid to use any type of fine liner or um, water-based inks in it because of how thin that is, or it seems to be. Um, but the Jade Summer books seem to take the water-based products pretty well. Um, and I think that I've learned to look at the artist's work and if I truly like the images that an artist has drawn, then I'm going to be satisfied with a Create Space paper because I found that I can lay alcohol markers down on that. And then go back over with pencils to do any highlighting or shading. Um, where if you were to try to do that with marker, it wouldn't work on 
you know, the Create Space Paper layering marker upon marker. Um, I found that if you use the pencil and it's kind of grainy, that you can always blend that out with some type of a blending solution. I personally use an empty Copic that I fill with um, odorless mineral spirits. I've heard that just a regular alcohol blender also works. And then, yeah, of course, you have blending stumps and blender pencils and those type of things. So, you know, I just think it can be worked with. And if I really, really love a book and I want the images and the paper is something that I want to blend markers and things like that, I can always photocopy the images and put them onto whatever paper I want to use. I like coloring in my books. I've found that I find that very pleasing to be able to come back and open up a book and flip through it and see the things that have been colored in the book. Um, you know, kind of like anyone would sit down to read a book, be able to go through my coloring books that way. So, I just think that uh, I've said this a million times before, I think that Amazon could do better by their artists, but at the same time, I'm going to buy the books if I like the art, and then I will work with whatever paper I'm given. Um, I definitely, I love independent artists. There's so much variety out there. Um, and I like those books so much better than any books that I would be able to go into, um, say, Barnes & Noble or something like that and purchase. And when I first began coloring, I, I got a lot of um, books that had like the Shutterstock images. And some of those are nice, but I think there's just, when you get to the hand-drawn images, you definitely, and I know that all these images, you know, were drawn at some point, either by hand or um, digitally, but I just think when you get the independent artist, you're almost getting a little bit of their personality. I guess, in their books where the Shutterstocks are just kind of a hodgepodge of um, whatever, you know, images. There are lots and lots of leaves in this Hidden Garden book. And when I purchased the book, some of the images looked really cute. I looked through all the different Jade Summer books to try to pick um, just a few, you know, just a couple books that I could work with for all about Jade Summer. And um, this one, this book really kind of spoke to me. It it almost has kind of like that Johanna Basford feel, I guess, to it. Um, you know, to the images, kind of. Um, and I really liked it. I didn't, ex I don't know why I didn't think or realize that it was going to be so, you know, a lot of these so tiny. I am a huge huge for any of you that are new and just visiting um I'm a huge marker girl and most of these images 
there's just no way that my alcohol markers are going to work on this. Maybe the um, Ultra Fine Sharpies would do okay. Or the Ultra Fine Bic Markings, but, you know, my Cali Arts or my Ohuhus or any of those, that's a pretty much a no-go for this book. There may be a couple areas in images that it would be okay to use that, but not many. And there's a lot of green. And I mean, it's a hidden garden, so. you guys are just popping in from another channel for All About Jade Summer, I welcome you. And I am so happy that you're here. Here on my channel, we do color and chats. Um, I have product reviews. flip throughs, happy mail videos, book hauls, supply hauls, things of that nature, just a good hodgepodge, um, little tips and tricks that I may come up with that work for me that I share with my subscribers. And if those are the kinds of things that you might be interested in, please subscribe. We would absolutely love to have you here. I love my subscribers. I have a wonderful group. Very supportive and caring. And um, I mean, I love them all. And I would love to have you as an addition. If you can get past my southernness, depending on where you may be located. I know that a southern folk seem a little um, odd and strange to some people, but we're good people, I promise. Um, we're just a little different in the way that we talk. And if you're just visiting and you don't mind, leave me a comment just to say hi and let me know where you came from. Probably gonna wear out these fine line, my green fine liners in this book. I can see I'll be replacing them quite frequently. And I can get these Stay Below's open stock um, at my Michael's store. So that was another big plus on getting this set. Um, I started out with, you know, a smaller set of these and then I then I um, added open stock until I was able to have close to the entire set I don't think I think there's 50 in the whole set and I think I have like 40 something of the colors. And I think that these, I really like the 68 
because, you know, they have the more felt tip end and they work really well. And I don't think they leave as much of the streaks, you know, that the water ink, water-based ink is so notorious for. I don't think the Stabilos, Stabilos, I don't think they leave quite as much of that. They seem to dry um, less streaky and have more of a alcohol ink look to them when they're dry. And I really like them. I've started reaching for them more so than any um, of the other little fine liner brands that I have. Too much of a green against that lighter green we'll see too much of a green I guess a green's a green right there are so many different shades of green I love green I especially like the yellow greens and the olive greens my husband is a um, outdoorsman type. He enjoys fishing and hunting and all of those things. And I just found some Spectrum ER markers, the basics. And one of the colors is camo green. I had never um, heard of an ink in our art supplies actually being called camo green. So that was kind of neat. And he says that it's a great match. I mean, I, I immediately had to ask him because, you know, he's my resident go-to for questions like that. And he said it's right on the money. I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to 2019. We've made it. All is new. I hope that this year is full of happiness and peace and love for all of you. I'm sure we will encounter struggles of different types throughout the year, but let's just get through all those together and make the absolute best 2019 possible. I am actually filming this on New Year's Eve it will not be uploaded until New Year's Day. So that's why I said welcome to 2019. I, at least right now, am not there yet, but you will be there when you see this video. I wanted to make sure I was able to get a video up on the first day of It's All About Jade Summer. Um, for those of you who are new, my husband is a firefighter, and so he works 24-hour shifts and then 48 off. So what I try to do, and there are times where he'll have like um, hunting trips or whatever where he's gone, you know, more than one day. Um, or he may, you know, work an overtime shift or something like that. But what I try to do is the days that are his duty days, those are the days that I try to film. And 
he was on duty yesterday and I filmed a video for a color and chat for the channel. Um, that was, of course, not Jade Summer. And so this morning, he had something to do. And I knew that I would have a few hours um, to myself. And I thought, let me go ahead and get the Jade Summer video um, ready to go up. That way I would have a Jade Summer video for the kickoff. And if you guys are coloring with us, um, hashtag your images, post them on social media, hashtag with it's all about Jade Summer. That way we can all find our image, each other's images and look at those and enjoy them. Jade Summer is aware that we're doing this this month, so I'm sure that they will be looking at those hashtags as well. And maybe this will be a great, fun little month. I will be working. I've picked out a couple images here in a hidden garden or hidden garden. Um, I have Flower Girl that I am going to choose a couple images from. Then I have 100, I believe it's Magnificent Mandela's, or is it Magical Mandela's? It's not the ones that are like the super dark lines that are really very, very intricate. intricate. Um, it's the one that has like uh, different types of Mandela's. Some of them are animals, some of them are regular Mandela. I have that book. Um, I have... Chibi Girls Grayscale that I will be coloring from also. I'll have a couple images from that. And I didn't go too, too crazy buying um, Up Jade Summer books because I figured um, I was trying to take into account the number of videos I would be able to put up and what coloring I would do maybe in these books on my own during the month. So I thought just a, just a few books um, would be sufficient for that. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't want to go overboard and just have a, a lot of coloring books that I wasn't going to color out of right away. I would really like to see the Chibi Girls 2 released as a grayscale. I really like, I really, really like Jade Summer's grayscale. Those I do like. I do not have light and dark fantasy. Um, I really toyed around with the idea of getting that one or not. And... By the time I knew about this color along, the price on that had went back up to, I believe, over $9. So, I kind of passed on that for now. Um, but I'd like to see Chibi Girls, too. Maybe it's a grayscale. Maybe in 2019 they'll do that. Because I think that Jade Summer does really good um, grayscale. It's very simple to color. The shading is very um, obvious. 
in those. You know, marker is beautiful on that. You just throw your marker down. Um, one coat. That's that's nice. I had thought about getting cute fairies or kawaii girls, but I haven't purchased those yet. And that's not to say that I won't. Um, January is just getting started. And seeing the other ladies color in their Jade Summer books may inspire me to get a few more. We'll see. I just have so many um, different books that are kind of, you know, like sitting on wish lists and things like that. And I kind of want to focus, you know, I didn't want to just jump all in and get, you know, all Jade Summer because the truth is my funds are, you know, limited as to what I can spend on my coloring. And I really wanted, um, you know, to be able to get some of my other books that I'd kind of been, you know, dreaming about, I guess you could say. So, moderation is something I am going to try my hardest to work on this next year. I have found that one of my downfalls is that if I find something I really like, I want as much of it as I can possibly get. Like my alcohol markers, for example. Um, I have the Ohuhus, I have the Cali Arts, I have Shuttle Arts, I have Artifice, um, I have Touch News, I have Touch Fives, although my Touch Fives are almost completely dead um, and then I just found the spectrum your basics and picked uh, several packs of those up um, so oh and I also have the colorets and I have chameleons and then I have five lonely little Copic chows <laughs> but um, Moderation is something I really need to work on this year. Uh, I kind of went crazy for a while, and I'm, I'm not even a pencil girl. I can count on, you know, my hand how many times I've sat down and actually colored with my... Uh, with my pencils and I did have several different budget friendly sets I'd given some of those sets away like the kinds like Crayolas and things that you can buy at the store uh, but I'm gonna try to color more with pencils this upcoming year um, I just ordered the Artesas 72 set and I keep telling myself you know I want to get those Amazon basics also but I have a full set of Prismas I also have a set of the Hero and I have the Hero Water Pencils. I really thought I gave my water-based pencils away. I was really excited when I found them um, after I, you know, had come to the conclusion that I was going to figure this pencil thing out if it, you know, killed me. I'm out of frame. Sorry. Um, so, it's just, you know, moderation. I need to understand that I don't need every single brands of every single thing and that's kind of the struggle that I've had you know last year I spent way too much money um I've been that way also with artists if I get a book and I love it then I want the other books um Deborah Muller I started buying up a lot of her books. Heather Valentin, I'm loving her books. Um, 
so, I mean, it's just kind of one of those, I get it, and then I'm like, oh, oh, I need to have more. So that's kind of something I want to work on in 2019, is understanding that I need to use what I have available to me and not put myself or my family uh, into, you know, kind of a financial bind because of my, I mean, let's face it, my coloring addiction. It's not even a hobby. It's an addiction. I dream in color. There's times where um, I'll find myself dreaming about how I want to color something or what I want to color. And it's just, it's really crazy weird. So... That needs to be something I seriously work on. Not the addiction part, because, I mean, let's be real. There are so many things that could be very bad um, that you could suffer from addiction-wise. And so a coloring addiction is just not a big deal on the grand scheme of things. It's just the spending is what I really need to, uh, you know, reel in. I saw that Anne had said she was going to have a, what was it, a no-spin January, where she wasn't going to spend um, any money except on essentials. And I, I think that's a great attitude to have. I'm rooting for. Um, I was kind of wondering... If Graham had given her another Amazon gift card for Christmas, maybe. I think it was her birthday that he gave her a gift card. So I was kind of curious if he gave her another gift card for Christmas. And if so, and these are the thoughts that was going through my mind when she was talking about this. If so, can she spend that gift card money since it's not money that she spent. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, goodness. And I really hope that um, I'm not giving her any <laughs> ideas that had not already crossed her mind. And, you know, I kind of, I wondered about that. And then I was like, I wonder... Maybe we should just have Anne load up her wish list on Amazon and we'll just kind of treat her <laughs> through January <laughs> to get her through. <laughs> because this, I can imagine that's going to be very difficult. I really haven't paid much attention to if there's a lot of like after Christmas sales on um, coloring type items. So, you know, I, I haven't... Um, I really didn't notice that last year. I wasn't, I wasn't studying that as hard last year. But I've been keeping my eye out this year. And yesterday I snagged those um, Arteza pencils and I was not, you know, going to buy those for a while if I bought them. Um... You know, I had them sitting in my wish list so I could keep it on yesterday. And then I think the lightning deal was 18 something. And then lo and behold, it had a 10% off coupon sitting there. So by the time this was all over, said and done with, I paid um, a little under $15 for the 72 Artezas. So I, I just, I couldn't pass that up. I thought that was just an amazing deal. Those Amazon Basics, I feel like I'm playing Russian Roulette with them. I'm so afraid they're going to go up in price. I haven't purchased them yet. But, you know, they're just under um, 15 also. And I think that they're, they look really nice, swatched out, the colors and everything. I liked them a lot. Um... So, so do you guys think those things are going to go up in price? 
I'm trying to decide, do I need to absolutely buy them now or can I wait and buy them when I need them? Because the, you know, $15 price on a 72 set is a amazing deal. And I just think Amazon's going to realize that and jump that price up. You know, Amazon is notorious for changing prices continuously. Um, it's like an up and down, up and down, up and down. I've seen things change prices several times just in one day with Amazon. So what are you guys coloring for It's All About Jade Summer? What are you working on now? What are you thinking about working on? Are you going, have you purchased books specifically for It's All About Jade Summer? Or are you working from books or PDFs that you already own? Are you thinking about purchasing Jade Summer books? So many choices. Jay Summer released a, a good many books over Christmas. Was it like four, maybe, that got released? I know I purchased Christmas Flowers and Christmas 2. I seriously thought about getting the mandala, Christmas mandalas, but I didn't. And I think they did Christmas Animals, maybe, also. That got released. That was a good many books. <coughs> oh, excuse me so much. Um, th for the past three weeks, I've been trying to get over whatever this is that took hold. I feel much better, but the cough is just relentless. It just seems like it doesn't want to go away. And it needs to go away. I was um, reading that Georgia is one of the sickest states in the country right now. And I realized that that only takes into account the people who have actually kind of like been to the doctor to get counted. Um... And so that's crazy. RSV apparently is going around really bad this year. And it doesn't seem to just be affecting infants and elderly. They've had some cases that have popped up um, in just the regular adult or, um, you know, middle-aged generation or middle-ages. Um I also read that there's just a respiratory virus going around. Excuse me. That um, is really plaguing Georgia right now. <coughs> Excuse me. And it says that it causes relentless cough. So I'm pretty sure that it's probably what I'm dealing with. I have pretty bad allergies anyway. Um, and it seems like if it's going around, I'm going to get it. I've tried to not go out much. Um, I'm not even in frame, am I? I am so sorry, guys. So, so sorry. But I have tried to not even go out much through, um, you know, since the, the sick season started.
feel so bad that I was out of frame and I had been out of frame for a while. I know I had. Oh my goodness. That makes me feel horrible. I'm so sorry. That would probably be a benefit of the live stream. At least you guys could say, hey, stupid. You're out of frame. This is a lot of leaves. <laughs> At least one of these images in this book. I'm going to do like a rainbow. I'm just going to color the leaves all kinds of colors and just have like a huge splash of color on the page. I do enjoy doing things like that sometimes. I also enjoy like flipping um, colors that aren't, you know, a typical color for an item. Um, or for something, you know, like with my Christmas coloring, I did a picture where the green, things that would have been green, like Christmas trees were red, things that would have been red, like candy canes were green. Um, and I liked the way those, you know, a couple of those that I play around with, I liked the way those turned out. So I think I may do pictures more this year like that, where I can just bring that little something different, you know, into that. Are you guys bored yet just watching me color green? Where are we on time? It's been 47 minutes. I really don't want to push more than maybe an hour um, on these videos because there are, um, what, five of us, me and Michelle, and you see, yes, and Tia. So there's five of us doing this, and I'm not sure... Um, what days they are going to be releasing videos and everything. So I, I really don't want to do more than an hour. And that's because I want to make sure that everyone has time to view everyone's videos during It's All About Jade Summer. Um, if I see that the other ladies think that it's okay to make, you know, the longer videos and everything should probably just text Ann and ask her on that um, what her thoughts are. But I want to make sure that everybody gets to view everybody's channels and just hop around between the channels and have a really good time. And I will leave links in the description below to the other channels who are taking part in It's All About Jade Summer. So we can all visit each other and have just a grand old time. Maybe some of you will be finding new channels to subscribe to, which would be great. I know I always love finding um, new channels. And uh, that's, I think, something really neat about doing the collaboration color alongs. Because it gives people an opportunity to test out um, other channels. And I know I watch many different uh, channels myself that I hop between. And I'm finding new channels, you know, every day. And every channel's got something unique to bring to the table or, you know, to offer. Some of us are very, you know, giggly and 
just joking and having such a fun time. Some of us um, talk about, you know, just real life day-to-day -day struggles and things like that. Some of us will talk specifically about coloring. Um, so, you know, everyone has something very special that they're bringing to the table. So we'll go right up to the one hour mark. I have maybe 10 more minutes. And then I will go ahead and end this video for today. I will be filming again on Tuesday. So there should be another It's All About Jade Summer video up late Tuesday maybe Wednesday, um, that it should be up. And that's barring, you know, of course, that nothing um, happens. As we say in the South, as long as the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, um, we will make that happen. And then with me, for the, the people who are new, like I said, I film on the days that my husband works or or, you know, is otherwise out of the house. So the one thing you can count on generally is every third day I am filming. So there should be a brand new video up at least every three days. I do try at times to film maybe two videos in one day. Um, and then I will generally hold that, you know, one of those videos back so I can upload it on one of the days that I'm not able to film and render a video. Uh, I want to start making as many videos in advance. You know, I'm not gonna say as many, but you know, several videos in advance I would like to have kind of saved back because you never know if you know I'm gonna have to go out of town or if I'm gonna be sick. As a matter of fact, every year in October, I do go to Washington, D.C. in April, and that's not very far away, believe it or not. I mean, can you believe April's not that far away now? We're in January almost. Well, you guys are in January. I'm still sitting back at the last day of December. Um, in April, I go on a like a week-long fishing trip, and when I go on that trip, I mean, we are like no power whatsoever. So, you know, we do everything by firelight and batteries. So there's definitely no internet. There's no power on that trip. Um, generators is what we work with. But, and firelight. So I need to start building some up and have them set to release. Um, you know, when I'm away like that. Or if. You know, even if I get sick or something and just can't film. You know, life happens. I'm afraid if I stay gone, you know, too long, you guys will forget all about me. Would you miss me when I was gone? Well, I am very sorry that this video turned out to be Watch Donna Color with Green. Leaves, 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 leaves. I should have probably worked on the bird houses <laughs> today. On camera, that may have been the smartest thing to do.
maybe the next time I color in this book on camera, I'll do whatever is not green first. Switch it up a little bit. And I don't think that I'm going to save this to come back. Or maybe I could. I don't know. Um, I don't know. You know, because there's other books that I'd like to share with you guys. So what I'll do is let me know in the comments if you would like me to just go ahead and finish this page off camera and just show it to everyone in my monthly um, finished pages or would you like me to come back on my next video for Tuesday or Wednesday and work on this some more on camera? So, you know, let me know your thoughts on that. And if no one comments one way or the other, then I will just go ahead and finish this up. and have a different picture. Unless I just absolutely decide I want to finish this on camera. I'm so indecisive, guys. We are almost like two minutes from the one hour mark. We didn't even get the green all done. Ugh. So much green. There was something I thought about last night that I wanted to say in a color and chat to my to all this, you know, to all of you, and it absolutely escapes me again what it was. And the crazy thing is, is I'm gonna stop this video, and once the video is stopped and everything's put up, it's gonna hit me. always how that kind of thing happens. I think pen pens would do really well in this book as well. I may have to work with my pit pens some in here. My hand's getting really tired, you know, me and my death grip that I put on all of my pens and pencils and things. My hand hurt so bad when I was trying to fall asleep last night from coloring. Okay guys, we're at the one hour mark, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this for now. This is what I managed to get done so far. Um, let me know in the comments if you want me to finish this page up on camera. If you do, it will be my video that will come out on Tuesday evening or Wednesday. It'll be filmed Tuesday, so let me know before then um, if you'd like me to finish this up on camera. So, I hope you guys will visit um, 
everyone else's channels and enjoy them. Say hello. Let everyone know um, that you visited. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. I promise I do things other than just color in green. Promise, promise. And there are links to all the channels participating in It's All About Jay Summer below in the description. And until next time, guys, peace, love, and happy coloring. I will see you guys on Tuesday evening or Wednesday. Bye, guys.